Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to talk about another interesting video on Kubernetes that is 1010 toleration. So uh, in earlier video, we talked about uh, affinity, node affinity, node selector, and how we can basically control our pod scheduling on a specific node. Now uh, in Kubernetes, we have another concept called as a 1010 toleration. Here, node will decide whether they want to allow any specific pod or not. Right, and we call that concept as a 10 10 toleration. Right, but let me just try to explain that uh, with a simple example that what is meant by 10, what is meant by toleration, okay, how we can basically schedule our pod on a specific node with the help of uh, uh, this 10 10 toleration, how node can basically deny uh, if they don't want to allow a scheduling of any, any, any pod. Right, perfect. So let me just quickly share my screen and then I'll just uh, Talk about it. So here is my whiteboard. Well, I'll just uh, try to explain explain that with the help of whiteboard. So uh, in a simple terms, basically uh, we add the tent. Okay? We add the tent on nodes. So let's say I have three nodes. I have three nodes. Let's say node one, node two, node three. Okay, these are the three nodes I have. And what happens is we add the tent on the node. So let's say I'm adding a tent on the node one and another tent on node two. So in a simple terminology, a uh, tent is something you can consider it as a lock. So let's say I'm adding lock one on the node one and lock two on the node two, right? Now, toleration basically we add it in the pod definition, okay? Toleration, we add it in the pod definition. So what happens, let's say I have a pod P1, which does not have any toleration. Okay, toleration is nothing but you can consider as a key associated with this particular locks. Okay, so let's say we have a pod P1, which does not have any toleration, which does not have any key of any of this lock. In that case, when this pod P1 goes to the scheduler for scheduling, so scheduler will see that that node one and node two has a tent, or that means you can say there is a lock on the node one and node two. So it will not consider, and there is a lock and associated key or the associated toleration is not along with the pod. So scheduler will not at all consider node one and node two for scheduling. It will simply consider only the node three. So that means in that case, pod P1 can only be scheduled on a node 3 okay now let's talk about another case where let's say i have a pod p2 and pod p2 has a key associated with lock 1 or a toleration associated with tent tent of node 1 so in that case when this request goes to the scheduler now <coughs> sorry now node uh, scheduler will see that okay now it has uh, this pod has the key or a toleration associated with the node one as well. So in that case, for pod P2, it will consider node one as well as node three for scheduling. Okay, node three, why? Because it does not have any lock. And why node one? Because associated lock is uh, toleration is available with the pod P2. So now P2 can be scheduled either on a node one or node three, whichever is best available. Accordingly, your pod P2 will be scheduled. Now let's take another example. Let's say we have a pod P3, which has the toleration associated or a keys associated with lock one as well as lock two. In that case, when this request goes to the scheduler, now your pod P3 can be scheduled on either node one or node two or node three. Why so? Because node three does not have any tent and then whatever tent we have on node one and node two, there is associated toleration is already with the peer P3. That's why the P3 can schedule the on node one, node two. Okay, now how we add the tent, it's a very simple. Either you can add key equal to value, colon effect, okay? We have to add something called as an effect. And then the same combination, we add it in the pod definition as a toleration as well. I'll, I'll show you practically how we can do this. So there are basically three effects available. Okay, whatever effect we are going to add it here, there are three effects are available. So the first effect is no schedule. Okay, 
no schedule. So what is meant by no schedule? No schedule means if tent, <coughs> if tent and toleration is not matching, then don't schedule a new pod on that node. Okay, if you have set up the tent effect as a no schedule, that means if any new pod we are creating and whatever toleration available on that pod and the tent that you have added it in, on that node, new pod will not be scheduled on that node. And Let's say you are adding the tent right now, but before adding a tent, there is a, a already a pod X is already running. In that case, for existing pod, if the tent and toleration is not matching, they will keep running. So no schedule will only deny a scheduling if tent and toleration is not matching for new pod. Okay, tent and toleration is not matching for new pod. If for old pod, old pod will keep running. Okay, so sorry for the interruption. Okay, so what we discussed, what we discussed is basically we discussed about the uh, tent effect called as a no schedule. Let me recap that no schedule means if tent and toleration is not matching for new pod, that pod won't be scheduled. But existing pod will keep running it while adding a tent. Okay, while well, you are adding a tent now and there is already pods are running on that node. If they are not matching, they will keep running. Okay. Now we have another effect that is prefer no schedule. Okay. Prefer no schedule. So what does it mean? Prefer no schedule means what? Try not to schedule a new pod if tent and toleration is not matching. But if there is no other alternative available, in that case, even if the tent and toleration is not matching, still your new pod will be scheduled. Okay. And again, here for prefer no schedule, existing pod will keep running if the tent and toleration is not match. Okay. Now we have one more effect that is called as a no execute. So, what is the use of no execute? Again, for no execute, if tent and toleration is not matching for new pod, they won't be scheduled. And also, if you are adding a tent now, for even for existing pod as well, if the tent and toleration is not matching, they will also be removed. Now, if those pods started with a high availability, they will get removed from here and they will get scheduled on a pod. They will get scheduled on the node, which does not have any tent. Okay, so we have to take some uh, extra care here. Otherwise, uh, what will happen is if your pods are not in a highly available mode, they will be terminated permanently. Okay. So I hope everyone got the concept here. Now let me <coughs> sorry. Let me just try to uh, show this you uh, practically. So I already have a cluster, and it's uh, running perfectly fine. Let me see an alias. So kubectl get node. So three nodes are perfectly running fine. Now, uh, let me tell you one more thing here. Uh, if you see whatever concept that we have seen in our earlier videos, you must have observed that whatever custom pod that we have created, all the pods are getting created either on the kind worker or kind worker to node. Why this, though, uh, those pods are not getting created on the master node? The reason is basically on a master node, there is already a tent. And whatever pod we created, we have not passed any toleration associated with that master node. And that's the reason none of our custom pod got created on the master. So let me show you how the tent looks like. So to see that tent, you have to just describe the so kubectl. Describe the node. Let me just first describe the kind worker. And here, if you just scroll up a little bit here, you can see a tent. It's a none. So kind worker, it's a none. Let me try it for a kind worker too. So for a kind worker too, as well, you can see it's a none. Okay. Now let me show you the kind control plane, our master node. So kind control plane. So if I scroll up a little bit here, you can see there is a tent available on the master node. Okay. So for adding a tent, you can use a key is equal to value colon effect or even key colon effect that will also be fine. So here for a master node, this is the key and then colon no schedule is the effect. And due to this basically tent, due to this tent, none of our custom pod got created on the master. Okay. 
perfect so now let's uh, see with the example <coughs> let's see with the example so what i'm going to do is so this is my simple pod.yaml definition okay i'll just uh, keep it this as is and uh, what i'm going to do is let me add the tent on the kind worker okay so we have three nodes on a master node there is already a tent let me add one tent on the kind worker as well so how to add the tent it's a very simple kubectl tent what do you want to tent a node and the node name is kind worker okay and how we add the tent basically key equal to value and effect so you can add any key value pair that's perfectly fine so let's say i'm adding sdd equal to ssd colon no schedule okay this is how i'm adding a tent so now if i run it it got tented now if you go back and let me just describe kind worker so this time it should show the tent we added it now that means we have a tent on the master node okay perfect so now uh, sorry uh, we have the tent on the kind worker so that means now we have three nodes kind control pin which has a tent kind worker we just added a tent kind worker does not have any tent so what i'm going to do is i'll just disable the scheduling on that okay just to show you how the things uh, behaves once you have a tent so what i'll do is i'll disable the scheduling on the kind worker too so how to do that we have to use kubectl cordon command so kubectl cordon kind worker 2 so if i run it and now if you go back and see the node you can see for a kind worker 2 the scheduling is disabled so that means we have a tent on the master we have a tent on the kind worker and then on the kind worker 2 we have disabled the schedule so now let me try to create a pod okay so let me just do i have already an pod.yaml here so pod got created and pod is in a pending state why the why that is a case because there is a tent on the master that our pod did not tolerate there is a tent on the kind worker that pod our pod did not tolerate and then third pod third node is basically a scheduling is disabled on that and that's the reason our pod is in a pending state if you want to see the reason you can describe the pod so keep it here describe the pod first and if i run it here you can see that's what the exact reason you can say scheduling is pulled failed so zero out of three nodes are available one node had a sdd ssd tent that pod did not tolerate one node had a master tent that pod did not tolerate and one node were unschedulable and that's the reason our pod is in a pending state right now how we can make it running basically we need to add the toleration so first of all let me just delete the pod and in that same pod.yaml i'll add the toleration so how to add the toleration so toleration we add it at the spec level and it's very simple we have to add a toleration section uh, inside that we can just add the key so key we have added is sdd then we have to use operator for a comparison we have to use operator as a equal okay what else we have to add the value so what value we have added ssd what else and the effect so effect that we have added is no schedule that's it this is how your toleration will look like so now if i just go ahead and just create this pod this toleration and tent on the kind worker will get matched and our pod will get scheduled on the kind worker right so let's see whether that's happening or not if i go back and just create the pod now so pod got created and if i see the pod status it's in a container creating state that means it got scheduled and if you just do kubectl get pod hyphen wide you can see this pod got scheduled on the kind work why it's getting created on the kind worker because now our toleration that we have given and the tent available on the kind worker these are this is getting matched and that's the reason our pod gets scheduled right now instead of this no schedule if you just try to use any other uh, tent like uh, prefer no schedule and no execute whatever the properties we dis uh, discussed here right for prefer no schedule like what will happen if the tent and toleration is not matching it will try not to schedule but if there is no other uh, node available in that case your pod will get scheduled and for no execute scheduling will again not happen if the tent and toleration is not matching but even your existing pod will also get effect because right now we are adding a tent right so for a no schedule and prefer no schedule nothing happens to the existing pod but for no execute even existing pod also will get uh, removed okay if the tent and toleration is not matching okay so i hope everyone got the concept uh, tent and toleration 
So if you have any query, please uh, put it in the video comment. Okay, I'll make sure that uh, I'll answer it. And I hope everyone understood this concept. If you like the video, please uh, put a thumbs up on the video. If you uh, And also you can share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll come up with another interesting video soon. So thanks everyone.